Hello everyone and welcome to Edge Pro. My name is Patty Warren and I'm going to be the host for today's video. Today we're going to be talking about the transaction activity. This is located in advanced reporting. It's the third one from the bottom over here on the left. The transaction activity is just about viewing all of the transactions that are in Edge Pro. All the encounters you might want to call it or patients that you might call it. So we have several different ways that people are using this particular page, and we're going to kind of talk about a few of them here in this video. So for one, you can search by your patient's name if there happens to be a particular patient that you're looking for. Now, for HIPAA purposes, we're going to see your patient's first name and the first two letters of their last name. For the purpose of this video, you know, we just have them listed out, you know, patient one, two, three, four. But let's just say you were looking for Sally. If I type in Sally, I can click enter naturally. I'm, I'm not going to have one because we're sorting it by patient one, two, three, four, but you would be able to see Sally on your end. To bring all back, just backspace out Sally's name, hit the enter button. Now we have all of our transactions back up again. So you can see if I scroll down here, I've got 684 entries. I've got 684 different types of transactions. Few more filters that we can do on this page. Anything located up across the top here, you can filter by. If you wanted to click on by plan, you could. It'll just put them in alphabetical order for you. Now, I do want to show you that we do have our main filters, just like we have on several other pages in Edge Pro. Let's just choose VSP. I'm going to kind of drill my data down a little bit more. So when I drill it down to VSP, you can see that we've got 146 of our 684 were VSP patients. Now we have it filtered by 25 to a page, and you can see I've got kind of multiple pages right over here. You can also change that. Let's just make it 250 so that that way we can get all of them on one page. Now you're able to just scroll and you have them all on one page. Now, we do have a lot of times that people want to download things into Excel. This is a great page to do that. We actually have an Excel button right here. When you click on Excel, it's just downloading everything in there it's in the bottom left hand corner. And then when I choose my Excel box, it's going to open it up and you're able to see all of that data and how nicely that it puts it into Excel. Now, I always tell everyone, you know, once we get it into Excel, the sky's the limit. You could create any kind of a custom report that you were looking for. But that's how you use the Excel button there. And now let's come back in here and kind of look at a few more filters that we can do. I'm going to kind of come back out. I'm going to choose all plans. If you want to choose a specific doctor, you can. If you wanted to choose a specific staff member, you could. But we also have the show more button over here. So when I click it, I've got some more filters in here. We're just drilling down even further. If I wanted to know any patients that had a second pair, it'll filter it out for us. If I scroll down, you can see that I've got 37 of my 684 encounters were a second pair sale. You can even do multiple filters. So if you wanted to do a second pair and a new patient, click on them and you can do it. You can see that we have three. So you can do one filter or two filters or three or four if you wanted to. So let's just kind of do an example here. If we wanted to know all of our, let's say, iMed patients that purchased contact lenses, I just created that extra level or that extra filter. So you could even say, which of my iMed patients have contact lenses that purchased a sun frame? As you can see, I, I don't have any results right there, so we didn't have one. So I'm going to clear these filters back out again, and I'm going to come back up here, clear back out to my all plans again, because I even have some add-on filters here. So if I wanted to know any of my patients that got, how about photochromic lenses? I would be able to drill down and be able to see that. If I scroll down here to the bottom, I can see that 76 of our 684 transactions had photochromic lenses. We can even filter it by exam types. You know, if I wanted to see which patients got a complete exam, I might want all filters in this particular case for all add-ons. Now I'm seeing all of my patients that got a complete exam. So when I scroll down here, we can see that we have 184 entries that got the complete exam. 
So you have multiple ways that you can use the transaction activity. Ideally, it's designed so that you can see the details of the sales, but you can use it for many more things. If you're simply just as a reminder looking for a specific patient, you can type in that patient's first name. If you want to download it into Excel, you're able to do that also. So the sky is kind of the limit, as I say, right here with this transaction activity on how you want to view your data. Hope this was helpful and everyone have a great day. Thank you.